Hey guys, welcome back to The Genius Life. Today I'm talking about why you should eat more home cooked meals. So if that's something you need to know more about, make sure you stay tuned. The first thing I think about when I'm gonna go out to eat is sodium. I remember this one time we went to like a hibachi place and they cooked in front of us. Back then we didn't actually eat, or we did eat meat, so they cooked the fried rice in front of you, they put the eggs and the veggies, and I was like, yes, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try this. Got it in my plate and I was like, this is salty. Now, not every place you go out to eat obviously is gonna be super salty, but I can't control that because I'm not cooking the food. To me, one of the best benefits of cooking and eating home cooked meals is the fact that I can control the salt because a lot of times when you do go out and you're not controlling the salt, even if you eat it and you feel like there's not that much salt, there's a good chance that it's still high in sodium. Next on my list is save money. Now, we all have those moments when we wanna go out to eat just because it's Friday night, it's Saturday night, or we just wanna treat ourselves. That's fine, I get that. Like, we have those moments too when we go out to have vegan food. One of the biggest things about going out to eat, as you all know, the bill racks up. Before you know it, you're spending hundreds of dollars on food out when you could have cooked at home. So, number two is saving money. You guys know this stuff but to me the key is not just saving the money but putting that money towards something that matters put it towards that house you want put it towards the car that you're looking to get or maybe paying off some student loans there's so many things you could do if you don't eat out more than once a week next on my list is quality assurance so I know I'm not the only one that has gone out to eat before and you get something on your plate that you did not expect Jet is famous for not being happy with his meal <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he always has an issue. It's like when the food comes to him, he's like, oh my God. He doesn't like sauce. So if you're the type of person that's picky and you don't like certain things on your food, this is the kind of thing that is perfect for you. If you're cooking your own home cooked meal, you're gonna know exactly how much spice, how much salt, how much pepper. You're gonna know everything that's going in there. Or if you're not cooking it yourself, you can kind of control or try to request that whoever's cooking it at home kind of cater towards you. If you're eating it out, you can ask for certain things, but a lot of times, you know, certain restaurants, they don't take modifications, and so you kind of have to take it how it comes or make the best of it. I know sometimes when we go out to eat and we, let's say we order like a veggie burger or a vegan meal or something like that, and it comes with like a tahini sauce and Jet doesn't want the tahini sauce, well, he can get it on the side or he can not get it, but let's say the chef forgot and they put it on there, then his whole meal is messed up and he's unhappy. So. So number three is quality assurance. Not only are you making sure that what you want is on your plate, but you also know how it's being prepared. You wanna know that whoever's cooking your food is not only a great cook, but has good intent behind them and the energy that's being put into the meal is positive and what you want. And next on my list is less temptation. You guys know when you go out to eat, and you get that dessert menu and you see fudge brownies or um, lava cakes are one of the most popular ones or just like vanilla cake, temptation, temptation, temptation. Or even if it's like an entree, um, you know, let's say you're trying to eat like a pescatarian or you're trying to eat like a vegetarian or you're trying to be a vegan but you're at a restaurant that's not fully vegan. You're gonna see the ribs, you're gonna see the steak, you're gonna see the mashed potatoes, all the things you're not supposed to be eating and the temptation is gonna be real. If you are at home, you're probably gonna have things that only you are supposed to eat. You know, you might have the occasional ice cream, cookies, and things like that, but the temptation is much less. So I would say, guys, if you're really trying to, you know, work on your stomach, work on your, you know, whatever the case may be, best thing to do is cook at home and you'll thank yourself. And last on my list is healthier. When you eat at home, most of the times, or all the times, more than likely you're gonna be a more healthy human being. One, because you're going to be putting less salt on your food, hopefully. Two, because you're going to not be putting MSGs in your food, hopefully. A lot of restaurants put things in their food that we really don't know much about. A lot of restaurants don't take the time to cook the food the way it really should be. Um, I've heard of people having food poisoning. Things happen. When you're at home, you know exactly what's in your food and you know 
that is going to nourish you because you cooked it, you prepared it, you bought it, and you're consuming it. All right, guys, these are some of the reasons why you should eat more home-cooked meals. Do you eat at home most of the time, some of the time, or all of the time? Let me know down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!